Hello, welcome to another video. Today we're taking a look at a new tent. And it is. Don't think I haven't forgot, because I have. I totally forgot. It's the Big Agnes Copper Spur HV UL2. I've seen Big Agnes as a company here and there when I've been researching my tents and I thought, Do you know what, this one really looks to be something a little bit different and something that I really want to check out. So I've been out for a, a bit of an adventure in it, so I can I can speak on it to an extent. Let's get it set up and let's, it's basically first impressions, have a little look round it, see what you think. In the bag, we have the pole bag with your poles and your pegs. The main body of the tent. No, sorry, that's the fly. We have the fly and then the main body of the tent. So this pitch is inner first, and I know a lot of people that's a deal breaker for a lot of people, but if you get the ground sheet, you can actually set it up outer first using the ground sheet to support the poles and then set everything up inside it. So I do have a ground sheet on its way, but it's not here yet. With this tent, everything is color coordinated. There's orange on one side and gray on the other. So the poles come all as a wanna. Very easy to deal with. And then the end of each pole is color coordinated. So from gray, obviously going the gray end. That's that look. I'd recommend staking it out first as well in case you're in high winds. But we're not, we're not in high winds, we're in the back garden now, we so easy. It has clips so that you can attach it to the poles. we go and then it comes with this extra bit which is a spreader bar for the top clips on and then it has these clips that go over that ball joint exciting times look I found it really easy when I first pitched it so the grey clips go onto the grey it has a buckle Male and female part. That's pretty much it. And then the doors. Work out which way you want your doors to be opening. There you go. That's it. It also comes with this emergency field repair for the poles. And this rigid bit here just keeps that vent open help with condensation nice little feature it's quite a big vent that as well the material it's fantastic material it feels really good but one of the best things so you get four extra guy lines with this tent and this is a great little feature I'll just show you one side it is dual entrance so it's symmetrical but I will just show you on this side and you'll need hiking poles for this so there's a zip there and we can roll that over and have it just one door. Decent vestibule area. And that's how you would use it normally. But it has an option to open the other side as well. So you've got both doors. Now you can roll this up and attach it with both of these to the top. That gets a bit finicky, so in a rush, just fold it over and just stuff it under there. And you're good in and out but here we go I'll show you this bit mate it has loops at the at either side so you can attach your trekking pole whatever height you want it 
careful that water run off. Let's do a simple clove hitch around there. And there you go. Plenty of room under there. So if it's sun if it's too sunny, you've got shade, or if it's pissing it down, you've got a nice big area just to cook in and hang out in. And this is the same on both sides, as I say, it's a, a dual entrance tent, it's symmetrical. And so you can do this on both sides, providing you've got your hiking poles, which is a, an amazing feature for me. And it still gives you room for your vestibule in here to store your bag or your shoes or whatever you want to do. Right, let's have a look inside, because this is where this tent really excels. The zips are really good, really easy to use one-handed. Get me in. <laughs> yes, mate. So, the zips, as I say, really easy to use one-handed. Come and have a look at this. So you've, un you've unzipped it, and this is genius. It does have an option for, you can roll it up properly and use your toggle to get it out of the way. Happy days, but which came in really handy for me when, especially when you've got cold fingers. There's just this loop here, so you open it up, stick it in the loop, that's it, you're done. Brilliant feature that. You go back there, you. I'm sort of seven foot nine. Um, built like I belong in a zoo, so that's what you're dealing with. And look at it. I've got loads of room in here. I didn't have a footprint for it and it was fine in the Lake District and it was wet and nothing came through, but you might want to get yourself a footprint or some Tyvek, something like that. It has a very definite head and foot end. You could sleep both, but this end's a little bit wider. And another thing, what I love about this is the pockets. These are just, there's something about them, they're just so sort of tight and keep your stuff. It doesn't, they don't sag. There are two pockets at the head end either side and I was using these a lot you can just I, I had my lantern in there lantern deck phone in and look as these at both sides so you can so you can put your electric device in and you can have your earphones coming out of there straight into you when you're finished I put my earphones in there and it keeps everything out of the way brilliant feature and that's one in both sides as well one either side so that you and your friend slash partner can both ignore each other and listen to your own stuff. Quality. We'll go to the other side. It's even bigger. Again, look at that. That's I, that's my phone in there, so you can see how big that is. You could put all your clothes, everything in there, and it just takes everything off the ground, so it gives you more, miles more space. There are loops everywhere. Here, here adjacent and across the top there and I'm yet to mod it I'm going to put some uh, Dyneema cord across to create a washing line the zips are just so smooth mate one handed opened up no catching really smooth that goes in there tucked in there look very easy to deal with and then you can see look the vestibule space big enough for a bag at each side I've done cooking here, so it's big enough to do cooking. It's the overall feel as well. Material, everything. It just feels really classy. And I, I think I love it. Let's head inside and do our final thoughts. Right. I keep forgetting the name of it. It's a tough one to remember. I've got everything here in front of me. The Copper Spur HVUL2. The total weight, excluding pegs and bags, I don't know why they do that, because you need the pegs. Include the pegs, but whatever. It is 1,268 grams. The eight pegs that are supplied with it come to a total of 88 grams. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put the specs on the screen now. So if you want to pause it, you can have a look at the specs for yourself. There's no point in me just reading out all the specs for you. You can, you can pause the video and have a look yourself. The two things that people really want to know about tents when you get them is how much does it weigh and what does it cost so it weighs 1268 grams excluding pegs and bags the pegs weigh 88 grams you can pick it up in the uk for 414 
pounds sterling. So not the cheapest tent. And one thing that I will say to anyone who's listening who builds tents, any tent manufacturer, so you have to buy the footprint separately. Now the footprint is best part of 70 bar. Why should I have to spend an extra? I've already spent 414 quid on a tent. Why do I have to spend another 70 quid just to protect the floor? Surely either incorporate that into the tent, make the make the bathtub of the tent strong enough more waterproof so that I don't need to add this extra layer because it's just going to cost me more money, more weight, more size in my pack. For the extra 162 grams that the footprint weighs, just attach it to the tent. Have it in there already so we don't need to keep buying extra bits. Or if it's not part of the bathtub already, just include it for free. So I think all 10 companies need to sort out this bath, this footprint situation. They just... Maybe I'll get slated in comments and you'll tell me why they charge so much for the footprints. But for my mind, when you're charging that much for a tent, just make it so you don't need a footprint or that the footprint comes with it. So the reason I got this tent is I got rid of my Sea to Summit Ultra TR2 and I've got this as a summer three season two man tent. I love the awning feature that you can have on both sides. So it's a great tent to have around a family campsite as well. Inside of the tent, the steep walls on each side, the pockets, everything just felt good. It felt well made and it was a pleasure to be in it and it was a pleasure to just hang out in there. And that's what I'm looking for in a tent, especially when it gets dark quite early on. You're gonna be in your tent for a long time. So it's nice to have somewhere that's that feels roomy and that feels safe and nice to be in. So the pros are massive. It's lightweight. I don't, I can't think of any other tent that gives so much room or feeling of space. And the two doors is a must for me. I think that's amazing for your, for your vistas each side. And especially if you're going with your partner or your friend, it's possible to set it up outer first if you get the footprint. I've got a footprint coming, so I'll do a demonstration of setting it up out of first for you. As with all these tents, only time will tell. I've only been out in it once up into the mountains. And it's just that elusive tent that I'm searching for. And I don't, will I ever find it? Is it just like, I don't know. Do you know like on Interview with a Vampire when he's just like, you'll, you know, you can eat all you want, but you'll never be full. You can drink all you want, but you'll never quench your thirst. Is it like that with tents with me? I'll just never be happy. I'll just keep looking for the perfect tent till I die and it'll never materialize. But I guess we use tents for different reasons, don't we? And there isn't a one hit wonder, I don't think. I don't think that tent exists. We use tents for all different reasons. And also, let me just touch on this. When I say three season, so this is essentially a three season tent, I don't pay too much mind with that. The only thing is a four season tent the outer will come all the way to the ground to stop snow drift. That's it. Because I've had my ass handed to me in summer by high winds, rain, driving rain. So the seasons don't really count for much. It's basically where the snow's going to smash underneath, <laughs> underneath your tent. The only cons that I could see really of this tent were pitching outer first, but that's been sorted. You can, if you've got the footprint, having to buy the footprint separately, to then be able to pitch it out at first might be a con for some people. The cost might be a con for some people. Coming, at around, coming in at around 400 quid is, is definitely at the higher end of the spectrum with tents. Another thing is I got battered by the winds when I was out camping. And if you, if you pitch the tent either foot or head facing the wind, you're fine. I do feel that the side of the tent gives way pretty easily. So it's folding in on itself pretty easily. That I don't get with a, with, a, with a lot of my other tents. Did I feel safe in it? Yes, I feel there's a lot of give in the poles. So I didn't feel like it was going to collapse on me. But it does, it makes a meal of it. It makes a meal of it when it comes in, when the wind blows. There is a way to combat that. If you have your hiking poles, you can set up your hiking poles with the guy lines on to give it more support on the side that the wind is coming from. But overall, I'm saying I, I'm really liking this tent so far. And for the record, I've bought this tent. I I wasn't gifted this tent. 
I've got nothing to do with uh, Big Agnes. I bought this tent out of my own money so I can give a, an honest and unbiased review of it. I guess the sign of a good tent is that I'm, I'm excited to use it again. I'm looking forward to getting in that tent again and taking it out with me on another trip. So that's a sign of a good tent for me. And I'm impressed by it so far. I'll leave a link below to Big Agnes's website or just Google it and have a look. There are, there are distributors in the UK, Ultralight Outdoors for one. That's where I got mine. I can leave a link below for them as well. So the next video will be the camping video up in the mountains in the Copper Spur. So stay tuned for that. Click the subscribe button if you want and the bell notification so you get notified when that video drops. If you want, look after yourselves and I'll see you soon. Namaste. Out of trouble. Goodbye. Goodbye.